Uh, great jobs are good man. Um, today let's look at um, one of the popular questions um, in life science content. Um, yes, uh, we're going to be dealing um, with um, life sciences paper one, the very first paper for life sciences. Um, please don't forget to subscribe those who haven't subscribed. Um, so you are going to be fundamentally dealing with um, this question, which is question 1.5. And mind you, this was um, a paper that was written in 2020 September that was set and written by students in the Eastern Cape. Okay, so 1.5 says the diagram below shows the female reproductive organs. Um, two cubes were that cut and tied by means of surgical procedure to prevent pregnancy. So in this diagram, this diagram shows a female reproductive organs, as you can see. Um, so two cubes, I'm not going to name them because the, there will be a question that says, um, let's name those kind of cubes. I know. So, um, yes. So they were tied both, um, by means of a surgical procedure to prevent pregnancy. So those cubes were tied to, to prevent, um, a, preg a pregnancy. Okay. So let's go to the very first question. Okay, as you can see that you have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Each and every letter represents the part of, of this um, female reproductive system and so on. Okay, so 1.5.1 says identify A, B, C. Um, identify A, B, F, I mean, yes. So, yeah. Let's identify a let's identify p is identify f let's name what these letters represent okay yes so um let's go right down so as you can see that a a is a vagina um b is a cervix um f is a uterus okay yes so let's go write them down in our, in our answer sheet. So your um, A, your A, so that was A, it was a vagina. Vagina. And we had B. Let B, let B, B, or B was a cervix, cervix, then our C, then our C, uh huh, oh. Okay, let's say this. So our C, our C was okay. So F is a uterus. The uterus. Okay. So A is a vagina. C um B is a cervix. F is a uterus. Okay, let's go to 1.5.2. Okay, so each and every it's one mark, one mark, one mark by identifying A, B, F. Okay, yes, as we said, A, they said A is a vagina, um, B is a cervix, and E is a uterus. Okay, um, F is a uterus, I mean, so sorry. Okay, so let's move to 1.5.2. 1.5.2 says give the letter and name of the part. So we're giving the letter now and the name of the part um, by looking to these statements. Okay, where the embryo, um, where the embryo 
is implanted okay where the embryo is implanted after the, after the process of fertilization you know that the embryo must be must be implanted okay so this is by it's going to grow and grow until it becomes bigger meaning that it becoming a fetus okay yes becoming a baby until um until birth okay so where the embryo is implanted you know that the embryo is blended away at C okay the embryo is implanted here at C inside okay inside don't say in the uterus okay yes inside the uterus wall okay just inside um, in the endometrium okay endometrium wall okay yes this will buy um, the, the endometrium it's so it's so strengthened um, it's it's huge it's fascicular and strong for for carrying this this embryo and this baby okay yes so B says where is the, um, the part that produces over okay so the part that produces over you know it's an ovary okay it's here yeah, it's an ovary which is D okay it's D which is on which is an ovary okay D, which is an ovary, uh huh, that produces um, ova or ovium. So, see, sir, where the fertilization normally takes place. You know that fertilization, fertilization takes place where at the fallopian tubes. Okay, at E. Okay, fallopian tubes run by E at the fallopian tubes. Okay, yes. And fallopian tubes are the ones that are the tubes that are, are cut off and tied. Okay, yes. So that's why I didn't want to mention them, their name, um, when I was um, familiarizing ourselves with the diagram, because I knew that they were going to ask. Okay, yes. So at E, okay, what the at fallopian tubes it is E. Okay, so giving the letter and the name, let's go to 1.5.2. So we have A, we have A, we have B, we have B, we have C, we have C. Um, so let's go back to our question paper. So our A, so where Ember is blooded. So um, and the endometrium which is um, C yes endometrium which is C C which is endometrium so sorry um, C endometrium wall or in the endometrium uh, B says that produces over its ovary which is um which is e right i uh, know which is d ovary here which is d d ovary okay d ovary um the last one at 1.5.2 says uh-huh where fertilization normally takes place fertilization takes place at e which is fallopian tubes um at e at fallopian cubes fallopian cubes okay let's move to 1.5.3 okay Okay, 1.5.3 says, how does the surgical procedure mentioned above prevent pregnancy? So, as they say that they cut off um, E, okay, which are fallopian tubes to prevent pregnancy. How does that prevent pregnancy? You know that in order for the spermatozoa, okay, let me 
erase here erase erase okay so you know that in order for for the fertilization to to be possible or takes place spermatozoa must must enter the vagina and swim up okay and swim up going both sides okay this one going both sides okay swimming to meet the over okay but now it can't meet the over because the fallopian cubes are tied are, are tied or are cut off okay yes so they can pass through to meet the over i think that's our answer okay because we know that fertilization takes place in the in the fallopian cubes okay yes so they can go and meet the over so that the fertilization can take place i hope you understand okay yes because over or ovum is here is here so these spermatozoa or these sperms can't pass through here because it's tied and cut off okay yes um yes so let's go right um our answer for 1.5.3 okay sorry so we can say spam will not be able to utilize a lot be able to fertilize the ovum okay ovium or you can say sperm will not be able to reach the ovium as you can see that it's tied okay the, as i showed you and cause fetization so the sperm so sorry sperm will not be able able to reach the ovum the ovum and cause fertilization that's how it goes for 1.5.3 so the most one that is like to be perfect you are supposed to give one okay this is going to be one mark okay yes so we can say the sperm will not be able to reach the ovum and cause fertilization as you can see that the the fallopian tubes are tied off or cut off okay 1.5.4 okay let's go to the question 1.5.4 says give a reason for the surgical procedure performed on both tubes so why so this question is basically saying that or asking that why these um these cubes the fallopian cubes on the both sides are both tied on the both sides why can't we only tie this tube on this side okay yes why why can't we only tie this tube on this side to prevent pregnancy you know that we have two over okay yes the one from this side and the one from and one from this side okay yes so um if only on this side is tied if only for the pink cube is tied on this side meaning that this the spams okay or spermatozoa is going to 
to pass through here okay spams are going to pass through this side while this side is tied okay and cause fertilization okay so a woman might fall pregnant and so on so basically as I explained for 1.5.4 we can say both ovaries release over okay that's symbol because both because both ovaries um, release or produce release release over alternatively so out ovary oh both ovaries release over alternative okay so that's what i told you that both this side and this side they both release ovaries okay both ovaries release over okay yes um that's how it goes um that's the end of our revision for life sciences always we were um focusing on the female relative organs okay uh yes that's the end i'll see you in the next following video please don't forget to subscribe um thank you so much